Coming up on Cultural Capital, we're exploring the feminine mystique at the British Museum. We're at the Foundling Museum to find out more about a stinging satire by Hogarth in Thing of the Week. And I'll review the longed for and long awaited Top Gun Maverick. Women, eh? Can't live with them, can't stop them wearing a garland of severed male heads. As women's bodily autonomy finds itself under attack for about the 20 millionth time, the British Museum's new exhibition explores humanity's fascination with female power. And just what it is about little old us that's so terrifying. So the exhibition is essentially exploring ways in which femininity and or female authority have been perceived throughout history in different cultures around the world. And we're trying to draw attention to the diversity of those perspectives. So the oldest objects in the exhibition uh, date to 6000 BC, and then it extends all the way up to contemporary artworks that were made last year. And this is to look at not only contemporary perceptions um, in living traditions today, but also how ideas from the past still have resonance and still influence how we think in the modern world. And so it's about reminding ourselves um, that things have not always been the way that they were. Hogarth was one of England's master satirists, but he was also a glorious painter. So he was pretty miffed when George II refused his gift of the March of the Guards to Finchley, but then the king was a bit of a philistine. It's our thing of the week. This painting is one of the jewels in the Foundling Museum collection. It's by the British artist William Hogarth. It was made in 1750 and it's called The March of the Guards to Finchley. And it shows the top of Tottenham Court Road turnpike with uh, Hampstead and Highgate in the background. London is in turmoil because news has been received that uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie has invaded from Scotland and is making rapid progress south, looking to depose King George II and install himself as, in his eyes, the rightful Catholic heir. When Hogarth painted this, it was five years after the moment he was uh, portraying, so viewers knew that England was saved and the Jacobites were seen off at Culloden, and so they could laugh at the scene that's unfolding of general human foibles, and at the centre, a young grenadier guard who has a decision to make as a man and as a soldier. Is he true to his pregnant girlfriend, who's a loyal Protestant selling God Save the King song sheets? Or does he go with his Catholic ex, who's wearing a rosary? So the likelihood is he will do the right thing as a soldier and fall in in good order and go and protect his king and country from the invading, invaders from the north. Now for the 60 second film review. At the first bong of the soundtrack, my face broke into a grin to rival old Tom himself and it did not stop for the duration of this movie. We find Maverick at a military testing facility where he's flying like space jets or something, but he's soon hauled back to his old flight school to teach a bunch of top graduates to fly what looks like a borderline suicide mission. Complicating his task is the fact that the class includes Miles Teller's rooster, the son of Maverick's late wingman, Goose. Maverick's unresolved grief over Goose's death is one of the key drivers in the storyline. And there is a real elegiac edge to this film. I mean, the first shot of Tom Cruise is unequivocally about his biceps, but Maverick's getting on a bit and his history of getting himself into trouble has taken its toll. The film is packed with nods to its predecessor. They've dialed down the camp, but not too much. And even if you haven't seen it, you should see Top Gun Maverick because honestly, it is just so exciting. And it's funny and the cast is excellent. Like the sleek fighter jets that thunder through it. This is precision tooled, exquisitely engineered, ruthlessly honed perfection. Thanks for watching Cultural Capital. For more things to see and do in London, follow me and The Evening Standard on TikTok and ES Culture on Instagram. See you next week.